Hey folks, so in this video we're going to take a look at some of the Edward Moybridge um, photographs and we're going to talk about taking these images and really exaggerating them. Okay, so let's let's start by maybe let's do a tracing of this one and kind of see the head pointing in that direction action line going down see the body kind of twisting and tilting this way one leg forward um, right leg is kind of back behind and going forward like this okay so i think that's a good start um, let's take this let's go and select this and let me transform it and i'm going to just move this right over here okay and then control d or enter control d to deselect so you can kind of see we uh we zoom in to the tracing of this character you can kind of see that it's pretty much a straight line down and one thing to think about is when people walk around um it's rarely you'll rarely see a situation where a lot of their body is not that balanced um, and that's because you know we're gonna fall down now let's talk about exaggerating this pose okay we're gonna take this we're gonna take this hip and we're gonna push it out um just a bit and we're gonna take this leg and push it back and we're gonna twist this body so what that looks like is is you know this is where your style as an artist whoops um b for brush this is where your style as an artist really comes in when you're doing some kind of life drawing okay and this works really well if you're going to do like comic book illustration or stuff for, um, you know, animation, because it really takes this character and just makes the pose a little bit more visually appealing. Also, what this does is it helps give a stronger sense of silhouette. OK, so here we go. We've got pretty much the bean or where the body is. And now is a good time to go and take this first leg and kind of plant it forward. You know, use whatever shorthand makes sense. And then taking this hip, pushing it out, and then we'll take this other leg and then push that back there. And, you know, maybe maybe put it on a different plane. Again, thinking about the Alex Wu stuff, definitely go check that out from Schoolism. But, you know, try to think of your character, you know, on a ground plane. You have a foot there and you have a foot there. Okay? Uh, now let's go back and kind of just think about this character. So go and finish the sketch get that nice long neck and we and you can see it the way the light is the white the, the way the light is cast on her neck and then the other side of the neck it's in shadow it's a very strong contrast so just uh, as you're drawing your stuff what I think you should try to do is to embellish a lot of those things and that's where the exaggeration is going to come in because even though the pose is not even though you're not a copy machine, you're not trying to go and get the pose to be exactly the same. You know, you want to try to draw something that's visually appealing to the eye. So it's a good idea to try to do that by taking certain things and really pushing them out in a direction um, that looks a little bit more, I guess, visually appealing. And notice how I'm putting a considerable amount of bend to this arm right here. I'm gonna take this pinky to stick it outwards because it's like, okay, she's got this dress that she's holding. I really wanna go and create some interior shapes that are pleasing to the eye, okay? Notice I got a straight, I got a curve. You know, I got a straight, get a little bit of a curve right there. Okay, get this body to twist and you get a little bit of a pinch right there. Get a stretch right here and then really get this to push outwards. And then um, at this point, you know, you could start to put in a lot of the other drapery and try to craft this image in a way um, that looks visually appealing to you. Like you put the stuff where you want the stuff to go, knowing that you can, you can leave these little pockets of blank space. They call it negative space. Uh, you can leave these pockets of negative space so they look visually appealing. Let's go plant this foot so that way our audience is not disoriented because they're expecting to see the foot on the ground. And then let's get this other foot right here and maybe point it outwards in another direction. Okay, let's do one more of these sketches and I think we can call it for this video. But remember, you really, you just wanna, you wanna pick the most important stuff to focus on 
and to really exaggerate because that hip is, you know, here, let's just, let's go back to, is it this one right here? No, let's go back to this one. I'm gonna go and select that. Let's Command T so we could stretch this out. We're gonna put this drawing right on top of the other one. And you could just kind of see like, okay, one is a tracing and one is, one is something else. You know, look at how the shoulder that I drew with my example is a lot higher than this shoulder is relative to that one. Again, we're trying to tilt this character and make it look visually interesting because, you know, if you just do a copy of the character, it's a little too boring. You don't put a little bit of your sensibility into the actual artwork, okay? Let's go and look at one more. Um, mm -mm -mm. Trying to see which ones, um, actually this one looks, this one's a little complex, so I don't want to do this one because I'm hoping you guys are trying to draw with me at the same time. Let's go for this one. I'm seeing a little bit of an action line right here. A little bit of a curve. Whoops. Um, let's uh, control D, B for brush. So I see the head going this way, body tilts, and then it goes back. Okay. I'm just going to erase that. So let's, uh, let's take that head, push it over here, and then really push those hips out, and then there's our action line. So there's our one line pose, okay? So if that's the pose, we know we could tilt these, we could tilt the shoulders like that and get that, get that torso in there. If the shoulders are going in this direction, let's put the hips in this direction. Really twisting that pose right there and pushing this leg out. And then of course, if the character is jumping, you can kind of put the legs over here. Remember, you put the action line down, you don't have to follow it exactly. It's just a little bit of guidance to help you put stuff to where it needs to be. Okay, let's get that leg right, or that arm right there. Notice she's got the pinky out. That's a really good silhouette. And let's get this last one. I'm gonna tilt the arm down and then put this other arm going back up and tilt the hand going inwards as well. It's gonna give a lot of very interesting uh, direction change, okay? So now that that's all set up, okay, and again, I'm thinking, like I know I didn't measure everything out like I've shown in previous videos, you know, but I'm just, I'm constantly looking at the reference image. I'm constantly thinking about what are the proportions. And if I need to, I can go back and adjust, okay? Um, good idea to get a brand new layer down and now I can just go back and start to sketch in you know a lot of the edges of the form and try to make this character uh, look a little bit more realistic okay so I'll get those shoulders in there and thinking about straights and curves thinking about direction change thinking about what are ways to make this look visually just a little bit more interesting because you know again you're not a copy machine Every time you make a piece of artwork or you do some kind of a drawing, it's an expression of who you are at that point in your life. So I think it's really interesting, um, you know, so feel free to go with it. And if you're an emerging artist, if you're watching this video and you're new to art, you know, just try not to feel bad about the stuff you do. Try to practice more. Try not to care about what people might think about the quality of your artwork, because, you know, you're sitting down and you're putting in the time and effort to get the mileage of line work down. So that's a very admirable thing, okay? So anyways, that's just about it. We can call it for this video. Okay, so again, think about action lines, proportions. Think about making a decision, a very conscious decision to take certain things and to really push them outwards and to get the angles you know, in a direction that you see fit. Hope that was a helpful video. See you guys in the next one. Thank you.